Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.24 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use the node voltage method to find the branch current I1, I2, and I3 in the circuit or in figure P4.24. Okay, so this is I1, I2, and this is I3. Check your solution for I1, I2, and I3 by showing that the power dissipated in the circuit equals the power developed. Okay, maybe let's 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 do exactly that and let's set this the bottom was not here as our ground so the voltage here will be zero and i want to convert all the resistor into kilo ohm so we will have this one will be 0 0.5 kilo ohm right and then this one will be 0 0.25 kilo ohm why because the the current will be in milliampere so all of that will become easier okay and now let's let's set our node here as node va this one as node va this one here as node vb okay and i think we only have two nodes here uh oh that vb is exactly this node and this node is minus 10 volt from the ground so we will have minus 10 from the ground. Uh, I think we just need to work on VA then. So we will have this one here as minus 10 volt. Okay. And then this one here. I think that will equal to 20, right? And now we just need to find out VA here and we can do that by doing KCL at node VA. Okay, and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, and then the only current that goes in is this one. I think I want to assume this one is going there and this one is going here, right? So the only current that goes in is this one, and that one is 20 minus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 25 there. Okay, and all the other current is going out. So here we will have VA minus minus 10, so I will have VA plus 10 divided by the resistance between them, which is 0 0.5. Okay. And then plus this current here. So I just follow the arrow here. And I will have 11 milliampere there. And then plus this current here, we will have VA divided by 0 0.25. VA divided by 0 0.25. Okay, maybe simplify. What can we simplify first? I just want to left the left hand side open first so and then this one 0 0.5 is one half so divided by one half is equivalent to multiply the numerator by two right so we have 2 va plus 20 here and then plus 11 here and then plus this is equal to va divided by one quarter so we'll have 4 va from here Okay, now let's simplify again. So we'll have 20 minus VA divided by 25, and that will equal to, we'll have 6 VA, and we will have 31. Okay, now we will have 20 minus VA, and that will equal to 25 multiplied by 6, that will be 150. 150 VA and then plus 31 multiplied by 25. 31 multiplied by 25, which is 55775. Five, is it correct? Okay. And then we will have we will have 20 and we will have 
Ah, I think I think we can do it like this. So 150 plus PA is 150 PA. And then we will have 20 minus 70, 75. 20 minus 775. That will be minus 755. And what can we get from here? VA is. So this one will divide it by 151. And we'll have VA is equal to minus 5 volt. Okay, I think that's good for VA. And maybe let's clean the board and calculate the power that we got from here. Okay, let's answer the question A first before we move on to the power. So the question asks for I1, I2, and I3, right? So let's answer question A first. What is I1? I1, I1 is 20 minus VA divided by 25 kilo ohm, right? So we'll have 20 minus minus 5 divided by 25. So we will have I1 here is equal to 25 divided by 25. That will be 1 ampere. And this is the answer for I1. Okay, good. And then what's next? We will have I2 right i2 i2 is va divided by 250 so we'll have va divided by 0 0.25 and va is minus 5 so we'll have minus 5 divided by 0 0.25 which is equal to minus 20, right so we'll have i2 is equal to minus 20 and the unit will be milli ampere so this one oh yeah the i1 is also in milli ampere so this should be in milli ampere okay and the last one we need i3 what is i3 yeah i3 is this one here which is a bit trickier i think yeah, but we can do it by using KCL, right? Let's do KCL. KCL at minus 10 node. Okay, maybe let's put it like this. And remember that KCL, the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the current that goes in is this one and that one right so we will have 11 11 plus pa plus 10 pa plus 10 divided by 0 0.5 and then the current that goes out is this one here that will be minus 10 divided by 1 and then i3 i3 is what we are looking for so i3 here and let's substitute that va is minus 5 so we will have minus 5 here so we will have minus 5 okay so we will have 11 plus 45 divided by 1 half that will be 90 and then this one will be minus 10 then plus i3 so we can get that i3 is 90 plus 10 is 100 100 plus 11 is 111 milli ampere and i think that is for i3 okay that is for the question a the pink make it make it looks bad so i just use gray here Okay, now let's move on to question B, which is checking for the power. Okay, so far we got VA, I1, and I2. 
uh, and now let's check the power maybe let's start by the power dissipated first by the resistor right power dissipated okay let's let's start from let's use let's use red here let's start from the t 25 kilo ohm first so we will have v v squared divided by r right so we will have 20 and then minus minus 5 so we have plus 5 squared and then divided by 20 5 kilo ohm 25 kilo ohm okay so we will have 25 multiplied by 25 divided by 25 okay that will cancel each so we will have 25 okay the unit we will have pop pop and here kilo so we will have this multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 which is milliwatt right so we have milliwatt here okay that is for that 25 kilo ohm okay maybe let's do for 0 0.25 kilo ohm here so we start from p 0 0.25 kilo ohm Okay, so we will have VA squared, right? VA squared is 5 multiplied by 5. And then divided by 0 0.25. Which is 20 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 4. That will be 100, right? 100 milliwatt. Okay, and then for this 0 0.5 kilo ohm. Okay, we will have Pa minus 5 and minus 10. No, minus 5 minus minus 10. That will be 5. So we'll have 5 multiplied by 5 divided by 0 0.5. Okay, and we will have that equal to 50 milliwatt. That is for this resistance here. And now for this 1 kilo ohm here, and the voltage is minus 10, right? Okay, so we will have the P of 1 kilo ohm. That will be 10 multiplied by 10 divided by so that will be 100 okay so the total that will be 275 milliwatt okay this is the power dissipated okay and now let's let's calculate the power develop power develop Okay, by this 24, we will have P24, that will be 20 multiplied by I1, but I1 is 1 milliampere. So we will have 20 multiplied by 1, so we'll have 20 milliampere. And then this current source, so the current source will be VA minus minus 10 so i will have minus 5 plus 10 that will be 5 so we'll have 5 multiplied by 11 and we'll have 55 milliampere and then i3 is that value there so the power of that 10 volt will be 10 and then multiplied by 100 and 100 111 okay and that will be 111 milliampere okay is that something wrong i don't know um, 
let's calculate that first. Okay, I think I made some mistakes here. So this is not 50, but this is 10, right? So maybe let's fix that. So this will be 10, right? Okay, and if that is 10, if that is 10, we will have this one here is 5 divided 1.5. That will equal to 5 multiplied by 2. This will be 10, right? 10. And so I3 is not 111, but that is 20 plus 11. That is 31, okay? So we'll have 31 milliampere. Okay, maybe let's let's check that. That will be 31 milliampere. Okay, let's let's do exactly that. So I3 is 31 milliampere. And if that is 31, we will have this one here. This one here as 31. So, if that is 31, we will have 310 milliwatt. Okay. Milliwatt, milliwatt, and milliwatt. Yeah, and the sum has to be 275. Maybe the sign, I think. So, if we make this... 11 milliampere is absorbed. So it has absorbed. So let's, I mean, dissipate power. Uh, so this one is dissipate. So we will have minus sign here, and the total power here will be, well, let's see. 310 plus 20 and then minus 55 and that will be 275 watt milliwatt i mean milliwatt and that is the same as the power dissipated so i think the final answer is i1 is 1 milliampere i2 is minus 20 milliampere and i3 is 31 milliampere and we we also have check for b and i think that's all for this problem see you in the next video bye bye